Good evening, and welcome to tonight's presentation, From the Quarries, an archive of Masonic lore. The Rose Choir of Herodom is now regarded as the 18th degree of the ancient and accepted rite, whose total number of degrees is 33, in reference to the 33 years of our Lord's life. In practice, however, only the 18th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, and 33rd are worked in full in England, and the last three are but sparingly conferred. In America, all the intermediate degrees are worked, i.e. from the 4th to the 33rd inclusive. But in England, the 4th to the 17th are merely conferred by name. The 18th is worked in full, but the 19th to the 29th inclusive are similarly conferred by name only. The qualification for the 18th is one year a Master Mason, and for the 30th it has usually been Prelate or Most Wise Sovereign, the latter being the title of the ruler of a Rose Choir chapter. The 18th degree is a highly mystical degree and full of the deepest interest, and in England is restricted to professing Christians. In the USA and on the continent of Europe, however, it is not usually regarded as Christian, and non-Christians can become members. One school of Masonic research has propounded a theory that the Rose Choir was originally Roman Catholic and invented by the Jacobites. Personally, I have, after very careful search, been unable to find any evidence in support of this view, and frankly, I cannot conceive of any conscientious Roman Catholic taking part in the ceremonies. It seems more probable that the degree is due to Rosicrucian influence, and the earliest historic evidence we can find of these mystics shows that they were Lutheran but it is quite probable that they inherited an earlier tradition. There appear to be references to Rosicrucian doctrine in Dante, and the Comachine Masons carved the rose and compasses over their lodge door in Assisi in the opening years of the 15th century. Moreover, the ancient Aztecs, who likewise venerated a cross, had a very similar rite, with the same signs, and many of the same incidents. Finally, we cannot ignore the fact that Henry Adamson, in The Muses' Threnody, written in 1636, says, For we are brethren of the Rosy Cross, we have the Mason's word and second sight. Now this shows an association of the Mason's word with the Rosy Cross. Personally, I think this refers not to the present 18th degree, but to the Rosy Cross of the Royal Order of Scotland. It does indicate, however, Rosicrucian influence on Freemasonry long before the rise of the Jacobite movements, and is in a poem describing Protestant Perth. To revert to the 18th degree as we know it today, we find it has four distinct sections. The first consists of the conferring by name of the intermediate degrees, and the other sections form the Rose Choir degree itself. It is a highly mystical piece of symbolism and expresses the passage of man through the valley of the shadow of death, accompanied by the Masonic virtues, faith, hope, and charity. It ends with his final acceptance into the abode of light, life, and immortality, and with his recovery of the lost word. The badge is twofold. On one side it is black, having in its centre a red Calvary cross, and on the other side it is white, edged with rose colour. On the apron itself is embroidered a pelican feeding its young, while on the flap is a triangle within which are certain Hebrew characters. There is a collar which is similarly two-faced. On the reverse it is black with three red crosses, and on the front rose pink richly embroidered. Among the symbols depicted are the crown of thorns 
and the serpent holding its tail in its mouth, the symbol of eternity. The jewel, which is suspended from the collar, is a golden compass extended to an angle of 60 degrees, surmounted by a celestial crown. On the one side is a scarlet cross within the compasses, and beneath it a pelican feeding its young. On the reverse, the cross is silver, with a silver eagle rising towards the heavens, and on both sides at the point of the compasses is a rose. Despite its present Christian setting, it appears that this degree is, in its main details, a very ancient ceremony. All its essential features are found in the Bora ceremony of the Australian Aborigines, one of the most primitive races still living. In India and China, the signs of this degree are associated with God the Preserver. In ancient Egypt, certain parts of the Book of the Dead cover the same ground and show the same signs in use. The ancient Aztecs in Mexico appear to have had practically the same ceremony as already stated, and some of the signs which they make have survived among the Red Indians to this day. In medieval Europe, we find constant examples of the use of the two principal signs employed as for example at Coya Cathedral, in both 12th and 15th century work. In a fresco at Basel, painted in the opening years of the 16th century, and in a 17th century panelled room, now in the Engadine Museum at St. Moritz. Moreover, a certain sign associated with the ninth degree of the ancient and accepted rite, which indicates sorrow, is also found side by side with these rose qua signs in every one of the above-mentioned cases in Europe. Facts like these cannot be brushed aside lightly, and preclude us from accepting the view that the Rose Qua was invented in the 18th century. Indeed, the Mexican codices, which practically show the complete ceremony, are at least two and a half centuries earlier than the date at which it has been suggested that this degree was invented. The Grand Elect Knight Kadosh. The other name for this, the 30th degree, is Knight of the Black and White Eagle. In Latin countries, it is strongly Templar in tone and has acquired a sinister significance because, in some of the rituals, the duty of avenging the death of Malay and the other slaughtered Knights Templars is taught in a dramatic way. Since the chief culprits responsible for the slaughter of Malay and his knights were Philip, King of France, and Clement the Pope, this fact is stated to have been utilised to teach the candidates that King and Church are the oppressors of the people. Probably this inner meaning is by no means universally applied on the continent, as anti-Masonic writers pretend, but in any case, the English ritual has been purged of any such idea if indeed it ever possessed it. The degree is an elaborate one, necessitating three chambers and an anteroom, when worked in full, and only the Supreme Council itself can confer it. The regalia, which may be worn in rose qua chapters, consists of a broad black sash suspended from the left shoulder, the point fringed with silver bullion, and on it are embroidered the emblems of the degree. These are an eagle soaring towards the sun, holding the anchor of hope in his talons, on the extremity is the banner of England and Wales, which is on a red ground three golden lions. This is crossed by the banner of the Supreme Council, and below it is a red cross formed of four Tor crosses, usually called the Cross of Jerusalem. The breast jewel is on a cross pate in red enamel, with the number 30 upon a blue enamel ground in the centre. From a collaret of black ribbon with silver edging, is hung a black, double-spreading eagle, surmounted by a crown, and holding a sword in its claws. The word Kadosh is Hebrew, and means separated, or consecrated. The remaining three degrees of the ancient and accepted rite are but sparingly conferred, and take the place, to a large extent, of grand rank in other degrees. It will be many years before the young mason attains to these exalted heights, and therefore, any detailed description, even of the regalia, is hardly necessary in a handbook of this nature. As soon, however, as he becomes a rose choir mason, he is certain to have an opportunity of seeing from time to time members of these exalted degrees, and learning from them as much as he is entitled to know before they are conferred upon him. 
The ancient and accepted right as now organized derives its authority from the charter granted to it in 1845 by the Supreme Council of the Southern Jurisdiction of the USA. But the Rose Qua, Kadosh, the 28th degree, and several other intermediate degrees were fully established and at work in the 18th century, as historic records show. Although how much further they date back is still a matter of dispute. With regard to the intermediate degrees, it is a mistake to assume that they are of no value or interest. They vary considerably in merit. But such degrees as the Royal Arch of Enoch, with its clear indication of Rosicrucian influence, and the account of the discovery of one of the ancient pillars inscribed with old-time learning, mentioned in the ancient charges, is worthy of careful study. And the same is true of several of the other degrees. This, then, is the ancient and accepted rite, a great rite undoubtedly, which is full of mystical lore and sets out to show its members that the quest of the lost word ends, not at the temple at Jerusalem, but on Mount Calvary. For more Masonic podcasts, videos, music, texts, and artwork, visit fromthequarries.com or subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook accounts by searching From the Quarries.